The FDAC ADF or Automatic Direction Finder instrument allows you to obtain a relative bearing between your current heading and a ground station known as an NDB or non-directional beacon. The advantage of the FTEC Virtual ADF instrument over a real instrument is that you are able to virtually tune up any object in the navigation database, so you can practice NDB tracking on an airport that is not equipped with an NDB beacon or obtain a relative bearing to your house or local farm strip. In addition, while real-life NDBs are typically quite short range, the FTEC ADF instrument is not limited and you can fly virtually to a station over hundreds or thousands of miles away if you so wish. The relative bearing given by the FTEC virtual instrument is a geodesic or great circle bearing, which is the shortest flight path between your location and the virtual ground station. Sometimes also referred to as an NDB or non-directional beacon, the needle of the ADF will always point towards the virtual ground station. Let's tune up a local NDB and see how the instrument operates. You can see here the instrument is currently not tuned to any uh, ground station. This is indicated by the needle sitting in the 90 degree position and on the bottom right hand side here you can see that the uh, navigation icon is shown in red which shows that there's nothing currently tuned on this instrument. You'll notice that the compass card is rotating, that's slave to our current heading. Uh, in the background we do have a kind of recorded track uh, running around the San Francisco area, uh, courtesy of Apple. Um, but what we're doing here is tuning up the station. So let's look at our current, current navigation database. Uh, we're looking at all the stations in our database here, so all the airports, all the radio navigation aids and all the user uh, stations. Uh, in this case, the San Francisco VORDME, SFO, Sierra Fox or Oscar is the closest one to us. Um, we can filter to only look at airports um, or NDBs. Now, these are the local NDBs to us. You can see there's not that many of them. Um, Livermore NDB is currently 36 nautical miles uh, away from us and its frequency is 374. We can click on this and we can tune up Livermore NDB and you can see the needle will immediately start to point to to the, the virtual ground station. Um, also the icon on the bottom right hand side is shown in green showing that we have a radio tuned in this uh, radio slot. If we look at the map we can see that the station is indicated on the map by this green icon um, and the bearing or the line between our current location and the ADF is shown on the map as well and this ties up with the needle on the ADF. As obviously the aircraft, or in this case the, the, the virtual track, moves around and changes uh, heading, the needle will change uh, as well appropriately. So let's create a user NAVAID. So currently we're tuned up to an NDB. Um, we're tuned to Livermore NDB. So let's detune that, for example, and this button on the left-hand side here does that. So that untunes it, and you can see the needle goes back to 90 degrees and uh, shown as red. So let's create a user station. So there's no user stations in this database at the moment, so we hit this button down here. Um, let's, for example, let's create, that's our current location by the way where it starts, let's create an NDB at um, this road junction down here, for example. So we'll, we'll move the map, center the crosshairs, um, give it an ident, uh, give it a station name, and hit save. User Nave DPY1 has been successfully added and you can see there it's on the list of the user stations. If we go back to all now you can see here it's actually the, the closest station to us two nautical miles away because we literally created it where we, we currently were. Um, but we can tune that up now so let's click on test station and you can see immediately 2.4 nautical miles. Um, the arrow is pointing directly to where it is We've got the test station identifier and the ident shown. This here is this two minutes basically says that our current uh, speed that we're traveling, it will take three minutes now to reach that, uh, to cover that 2.6 nautical miles. Um, you can also see the uh, magnetic declination at our current location here, and we're currently showing magnetic headings, and these can be changed in the aircraft settings, which we'll cover in a moment. So convenience, for convenience, we've also added a heading bug to the virtual instruments. Um, you can set this by dragging either end of the bug, either the heading end um, or the reciprocal heading end. You can use this um, as you wish, um, but it was at a request of one of our customers who asked if we could add a heading bug to the ADF, ADF instrument to help him uh, do NDB tracking. So in the ADF settings, 
uh, most of the settings are actually to do with um, the visual features of the instrument, allow you to customize it to what you want to see or declutter the things you don't want to see. So you can turn off distance to station or times to station, for example, and they're not shown in these two areas here of the instrument. So if you want everything on, you can turn them all on. Uh, if you want to declutter and just have a basic uh, ADF instrument, you can turn them all off. There they go back on there again. Um, in addition, you're able to change your heading source. Um, so by default, it shows automatic, which uh, basically means that when you're traveling below the speed of the GPS transition speed, uh, the instrument will use your barometric or internal sensor as a heading source. Um, if you, once you transition above the GPS transition speed, um, it will start to use the GPS ground track and you can change the GPS transition speed in the app application setting, application word settings. So GPS transition speed here, we can change that. Let's change that to eight, eight kilometers an hour, confirm. Um, if you want it to always use the GPS ground track uh, or always use the internal sensor, you're able to choose that in the options, but we'll leave that as auto for now. You're also able to change the heading reference. So by default, it shows magnetic heading. You can change it to true if you'd like. Um, so obviously in the location of the world that we're doing this demo, which is a, a declination of 13.24 degrees, that's quite a significant difference. So now we're showing true heading and the bearings were, that we're showing will be true. So we, we look at, take note of the uh, where the needle's pointing here. If I flick back to uh, magnetic heading, you can see that's slightly changed there by 13 degrees actually. That's the ADF instrument. I hope you enjoyed it.